welcome back to the Read Bunch. Today we are going to be making photo coasters. So let me show you what you're going to need. You're going to be, you're going to need some Mod Podge, a brush to slick on your Mod Podge, a ruler, a pencil to mark your line, and a cutter trimmer like paper slicer or you can use scissors. You also are going to need your images and as you can see, I've neatly put all my little groove book images in um, a little organized box here. And you're gonna use, you're gonna need whatever you're gonna put your images on. So let's talk about this. I've seen it done with cork. I've also seen it done with like tiles. And this is why I cited against those things. The tile, they were really heavy. So, you know, I have small children and if I want them to use these coasters, which I do, I need to make them out of something that's not as easily breakable. Like you can drop a tile and break it. So I thought maybe that wasn't a good idea. Also, it's heavy. And then the cork was way too thin. And so I thought I needed something with a little bit more girth to it. Lightweight, but not as flimsy, I guess, was my concern with that. So I went with these canvases. I scoured uh, Michael's and I found like wood, circular wood, but it was only three inches and I kind of wanted four. It didn't seem like it'd be big enough. And some other options I kind of toiled trying to figure out what to do. And I came up with these. I know the pictures will go good on these. They also have a really good thickness to them. And so I think the size of them is four by four. So they're perfect for the for a four by six image to fit on. So we're gonna go with these little canvases. So let's get started. All right, so your next step is to find you an image that you really like. And sometimes when you're doing four by fours, which is what this is, you're going to have to make sacrifices. So as much as I love that my son is in this picture, I'm going to have to cut him out because that's just the way it's going to have to be. So, I think I want it to be from here. I'm going to just take my pencil, mark a line to here. And then from there, I just get out my cutting machine. And cut it. So there's my four by four. So now, I just, I'm, I'm gonna take the plastic off That's of this, right. put a layer of Mod Podge and put my picture on it. And then after I do that, it, I'm going me, to me. take Mod Podge again. I keep saying Mod Podge. It's Mod Podge. You realize that, right? And I'm gonna take my Mod Podge and put a layer over the picture to seal it and to make sure that like, if liquid from, you know, the condensation from the cup gets on the picture, it won't mess the picture up. All right. Take your Mod Podge. Get it good. And slick down there. Make sure it's sealed on there. I'm just gonna press across it like that. And then you just take your Mod Podge and you just put a coat right across the image and it dries clear. So you don't have to worry about like your image not gonna be white or anything like that. Now we just let it dry. Oh, glue all over it. There we go. All right, so they are drying. Hindsight, I realized that I should have allowed the photos to dry on the canvas first before I put the top coat on because as you can see, some of them are like starting to buckle. And that wouldn't have happened if I would have made sure, if I would have done this which is what I learned to do, is put a book over it and flatten it and keep it on there until it sets. 
and then put the Mod Podge on top. Yay! And here it is, the finished product. It turned out cute. We make custom, and it is cute. This project in totality cost me about $10. <coughs> Excuse me. I already had the Mod Podge, so I just paid $10, a, uh, $5 a pack for little frames, 40% off, so it actually wasn't $10. It was a little bit less than that. Uh, and there you have it, a quick, simple, easy way to create cute coasters that express the family love in your house. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to share, like, and subscribe. Have a fantastic day. Bye. Okay.